Hey gang, Fred here, VE3FAL. I got the uh, Chameleon Antennas F-Loop. And uh, I just want to unpack it and show you what's here. And then uh, I'm hoping today to uh, set it up out in the field. So, lots of bubble wrap in the package, as we can see. All kinds of it in here. Uh, as we unwrap, we've got... Uh, this looks like the tuner here that's all wrapped up as well. So this is the tuning part. We've got uh, our Faraday coils and uh, our main uh, coaxial loop here. Uh, we've got the uh, Condor bag to carry the uh, stuff up with us. We've got um, The instructions here, uh, the operator's manual, coax. Uh, we've got the feed line here. So this is the feed line. Uh, we can see, all right, the ferrite cores on the feed line. Feed line to the radio. Um, we've got the support here for the center uh, to hold up the uh, coil from the top of the the tuner. All right, and all necessary fittings. And then we've got the larger we've got the larger coil uh, to use in place when you're stationary picnic table that you can use. It's got all the uh, wing nuts here on it to tighten it, loosen it, and to move it. So it's very well packed. It came all the way from California here to Thunder Bay uh, without any incident. Uh, everything looks uh, good here. So I'm just going to get rid of the box here. Throw the bubble packing back in it after I'm done. I just want to spread the stuff out here one more time just to show you what we've got. So we've got the large, we've got the large coil, we've got the coax, the heavy duty coax that makes up for a portable, this is our small loop to go to the top and it just attaches the velcro to the coax. This is our support here. Uh, for between the tuner, all right, and the coil. This is the tuning uh, mechanism here. I haven't unwrapped it yet. This is the tuning mechanism knob on the front. Uh, it's got some weight to it, but it's not overly heavy. It's also uh, threaded for uh, on a tripod, a pole here, well, whatever you want. There is a spot there, but we'll go over that again later. So that's the tuner. The feed line, okay, instructions, and the condor bag to uh, to be able to haul the stuff up with you. So that's just a, a brief look at unpacking. Once I open things up, we get out in the field, we'll try to set it up, and we'll see how it works from there. So I'll get back to you guys later with uh, with the rest of it. All right, so we're, uh, we're up at the lookout today, uh, Gary and myself. Um, V3ODE and myself, Fred, V3FAL. We're going to unpack for the first time the Chameleon F loop. And we're going to put it together and we're going to see how well uh, it works today. So, this is the first time for this. Uh, it comes in a nice bag, or a nice bag comes with it to carry it up. I did weigh it. The whole, the whole package you see here right now is 2.65 kilograms, which isn't too bad and we're going to take everything apart here and just see what assembly instructions there are how cold is it today Fred it's minus 10 right now. 
it's uh, about minus, well, let's say minus 18 with the wind chill. So, we've already unpacked it. We know everything is here with it and for it. So it's basically fairly simple to put together. And at 2.65 kilograms, there's still everything with the tie wraps on, the plastic. So we're probably going to lose a little bit of weight, not a whole lot. When it's all said and done. Nice chameleon stickers. So, we're going to put the support up for the center. Now, are those rigid? Those are rigid, yep. The rigid supports. All right. And then there's Velcro at the top of this to hold the loop portion together. I feel like I'm in Hogan's Heroes here now. ADF, do, 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 do. Yeah, ADF exactly. Yeah. Right. I noticed the snow, depending on how much snow is in the cameras, they both change their physical appearance. Oh, for sure, yeah. The brightness. Yeah, that's why I keep moving. Yeah. Matter of fact, if I came over here, it might even be better. Yeah, this is a better spot maybe here. Don't damage anything. I don't want you hurt my antenna. This is LMR 400, the uh, the main loop. So it's fairly rigid. will attach here. These ears on the side are for the aluminum uh, loop to go on. Which is the same diameter I believe, right? Yeah, just a lot thicker. So tuning range is probably a little bit different with it. Probably gets you a little bit more. Alright. And then this just pulls on here like so. And as I said earlier, and I was just unpacking it out of the main box at home, um, there is a spot on the bottom for a tripod. So it can be mounted on a tripod to get it up off the ground, off the rock, whatever you need. So we've got it assembled. Already, there is a couple different sections of coax. Um, because we're using it with this uh, coil rather than with the large one, which um, the ferrite coax would work, we're going to use the short piece or just regular coax to the back connector. So I'm all ready to go now with the loop. All I need to do is bring out a radio. We'll adjust the tuning to see where um, where we're going to be for the best receive, um, and go from there. Again, if I was using the big loop for uh, for at home, I would be using this coax that has the ferrite cores on it as well, the coils on it. So next step will be just to hook up the radio and some coax, and then we'll get right back with it. Wind chill, W3 Freddy Freddy. All 
right, W3 Freddy Freddy, Victor Echo 3, Fox Trot Alpha Lima. I'm running the Icon 703 here right now. It's uh, my buddy uh, Gary's uh, 703 with a uh, small uh, LiPo battery pack here running about 10 watts, watts, bud. So that's about it for our operating conditions right now. You have yourself a great day, and we'll talk to you later. And always good uh, working you. Uh, W3 Fox Fox, the Victor Echo 3, Fox Trot Alpha Lima. Okay. Take care, bud. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. I'm impressed. Me too. I'm running portable. I'm running portable. 5 watts with a KX3. A KX3 is a magnetic loop. Over. Oh. All right, very good. Sounds good. I, I just wanted to, uh, I heard you in there and I heard you talking to the other fella and uh, band conditions have not been good at all. And I heard you in there and I just wanted to see if I could uh, make it into Florida this afternoon. So uh, good to hear that we can make it down into the Gulf of Mexico. Over. Oh yeah, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. You're at my noise level. Uh, I did turn the preamp up, uh, which doesn't help me at all. Number three, Fox Trot Alpha Lima. A Victor Echo number three, France, America, London. A Victor Echo number three, Fox Trot Alpha Lima, portable calling. CQ and listening. So we know that turning it gives us a bit of directivity. Yeah. So we worked Bud in California, and we worked Joe in Tennessee. Joe was bike mobile. With a ham, or uh, yeah, with a ham stick on his uh, 703 in the bike. Bud was at home, uh, operating uh, 50 watts in California, and here we are in Thunder Bay, operating the Chameleon F loop, and able to work both 5x3 into uh, Joe in Tennessee. Not bad. So pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. For sure. A K7 GJX, a K7 GJX in Arizona. Do you copy Victor Echo number three, Fox Trot Alpha Lima Portable? No. A little more. Right about there. Uh, Victor Echo a number three, Fox Trot Alpha Lima Portable, VE3 FAL Portable. No, he's not here. No, nothing. Turn it 180, or, or 90 the other way, Fred. Like that? Yeah. Uh, Victor Echo, number three, Fox Trot Alpha Lima. Tune, tune again, in case we lost, or would it drift? No. No. <laughs> didn't, didn't, didn't move, move it at all. Well, that, I'm impressed. Yeah, isn't that neat, eh? Mm -hmm.